Avram Blazer finally gave up. I can't stand the swearing anymore. I'm selling as soon as possible. The fans' reaction to the Glazer family continued despite Manchester United's beautiful win against Everton. Avram Blazer finally gave up after Manchester United fans cursed the Glazer family during the game, saying, leave the club and go home. According to the Sun newspaper's report, Avram Blazer said after the match, I can't stand the swearing anymore, I'm selling this club as soon as possible and getting rid of it. A lot of Manchester United fans want the club to be sold before summer and good players to be transferred to next season. As the Qatari billionaire leads the race, the takeover is expected in April. Manchester United want £50 million for Scott McTominay amid interest from Newcastle United. Manchester United put a £50 million price tag on Scott McTominay over Newcastle United's interest, according to The Sun. The 26-year-old's current contract at Old Trafford expires in the summer of 2025, but the club has the option to extend it for another year. United will want at least £50 million if they let the midfielder go. However, the club has made it clear that they are in no rush to sell him as they see him as a valued member of the team. McTominay has struggled for game time this season with Case Miro and Christian Eriksen being the preferred central midfield pairing under manager Eric Ten Hag. The Scotland international has made 21 league appearances but has started only 10 matches so far. He was part of the starting 11 in the last three league games due to Casemiro's suspension and Eriksen's ankle injury. But with the duo now available for selection, the 26-year-old may find himself dropped to the bench again. United are favourites to secure Champions League football for next season. They are currently level on points with third-place Newcastle and three points ahead of Tottenham Hotspur in fifth. While a new forward is a top priority, United are expected to sign a quality midfielder during the summer transfer window. If another midfielder is signed, McTominay will likely be pushed further down the standings. The Scotland international will want regular minutes and he may not get that at Old Trafford next season. If United receive a good offer, they should let him leave the club this summer. The 26-year-old has been an important member of the team in the last few years, but the Red Devils need to sign a better midfielder to reach the next level. He has taken the initiative, Eric Ten Hag explains how Harry Maguire has forced his way back into Manchester United 11 plans. Eric Ten Hag believes Harry Maguire is now transferring the manager's demands on the pitch after the Manchester United captain's performance in the victory over Everton. Maguire has slipped down the pecking order at Old Trafford this season with Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Varane at Ten Hag's preferred pairing at the back. The England international was brought back into the side on Saturday afternoon however, starting ahead of Varane with Ten Hag citing United's crazy schedule as reasoning for the change. The former Leicester City has made just six starting appearances in the league but Ten Hag has previously hailed the defender's attitude and leadership qualities amid those limited opportunities. Speaking after the Everton win, Ten Hag also singled out the defender for taking the initiative in his performances, believing he is now displaying the requirements on the pitch he has demanded from his defenders. It is not easy for Harry, Ten Hag said in his post-match press conference. Ten Hag demands Manchester United to sign £30 million star. Eric Ten Hag has asked Manchester United's board to sign Marcel Sabitzer for £30 million on a permanent basis. A few days ago, Florian Plettenberg announced that he wanted to complete the transfer of the Austrian international player, who is currently on loan, to Old Trafford. Moreover, as per Football Insider, Ten Hag is pressing the hierarchy at the club to make the midfielder's loan move permanent. The news source mentioned that Bayern Munich will charge a fee of around £30 million for the versatile star, who rarely plays at the Allianz Arena. Sabitzer is an offensive-oriented, creative midfielder who regularly contributed to goals during his time at Leipzig. He warmed the bench after moving to the Bavarians and must move away from the club to play regular first-team football. Lately, Ten Hag has utilized the Austrian star in the central attacking midfield position and he has excelled big time. In the absence of Case Miro and Eriksen, Sabitzer has been a key player in the center of the park for Eric Ten Hag. So what's your opinion on this? 
Should it pay £30 million for Sabitzer to sign permanently? Eric Ten Hag confirms Marcus Rashford injury blow after Everton win. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that Marcus Rashford was injured in a 2-0 Premier League win over Everton. The England international has been in sensational form for the Red Devils this term with 39 goal contributions. He bagged his 11th assist of the season against the Toffees. However, the unstoppable star was soon substituted with an apparent groin issue and Ten Hag has said that it doesn't look well. He added to condemn the Premier League for the schedule. He told BT Sport, we have to wait, he doesn't look well, once again, that is due to the schedule, it can't be you play three games in six days, we have to protect our players. The Red Devils graduate has been United standout performer by a long margin, he has registered a stunning tally of 28 goals alongside his 11 assists across all competitions. Hence, his absence would be a huge blow for United going forward. The club are still not assured of finishing in the top four while they are alive in two cup competitions. Ten Hag will want to finish the season on a high with more silverware in Champions League qualification, losing Rashford could have a detrimental impact in the coming weeks. Manchester United eyeing long-term agreement with Facundo Palistri. Manchester United are looking to sign a new long-term contract with Facundo Palistri, a 21-year-old Uruguayan. Manchester United are looking to extend Facundo Palistri's contract, according to Fabrizio Romano. The Red Devils have been impressed with the 21-year-old's development and are looking to tie him to a new long-term contract. Polistri joined Manchester United back in October 2022 from Penarol. He has been subject to loan moves since joining the club to gain first-team experience. While the 21-year-old has not had much game time in his first full season at the club, the former Penarol winger has shown signs of great improvement. Manchester United boss Eric Tanhag is happy with what he has seen from the youngster and wants the club to extend his contract. The Uruguay international has featured in eight matches for the first team and has an assist to his name. While he has been on the pitch for just around 200 minutes, his work ethic off the pitch and his heroics for the national team is what make Manchester United confident about his abilities. The 21-year-old already has 11 caps for Uruguay and is on course for a lot more in the near future. Polistri's ongoing contract with Manchester United runs until the summer of 2025. While there are a few years still left in his existing deal, the club are keen on penning down a long-term extension with the 21-year-old.